Oh, I didn't see you. I was busy playing game in the prayer to Hello 300. Being a car enthusiast, I don't get so much time to play video games, though I love it. I like it. And this one, especially, is my favorite. Both the laptop and the game I'm playing. What if I told you that now we will go to something very exciting, a new car, electric, and you can play a game on that giant hyper screen. So I'm going to shut this, take this, while I play this there, and I play that car. Come, let's have some fun. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you the real game. The Mercedes AMG EQS 53 Formatic Plus. What is important is this number badge. This is the green number plate. While it, this might look like a piece of beauty, but this is actually a beast. 1020 newton meter of torque. It's in the hypercar category. And in order for us to continue having these beautiful flamingos visiting our ponds, we need to go electric. And the games that I play with this is a different level. And the games that I play in the Predator, of course, is different. But there are some games that I can play inside, both on the road and on the screen. Let's hop in. And like I said, the real game is this. Let me give you a small demo. The moment you put this in Sport Plus mode, <laughs> do you see that? Yes. Can you hear that? This is the sound of the synthesized speakers, but it feels so legit, so real, so pure. I mean, it's not the AMG pops and whistles which you get out of a ice engine exhaust, but this is good. This is also formatic, which means that all the torque gets distributed between the front and the rear axle as is required. The moment you switch on the driving modes, it changes its character. In Sport Plus, it's not, the suspension is not as stiff because this is also the S-Class, so they've tried to keep it very luxurious, very comfortable. It's not, not as hard as a typical AMG. It is The drive quality is rather more luxurious than a racy, you know. That's the difference. But the steering is actually going to remind you of the gaming machine because when you are actually going to hold the steering, the feeling of the flat bottom, it gives you the feeling that, okay, let's race. That's what you get. Let's talk some numbers now. And before that, I would strongly advise you to hold on to your seat because the numbers might just throw you off your chair. Yes, 1,020 Newton meter of torque 751 horsepower this can do 0 to 100 in 3.2 seconds this comes strapped with the 107.8 kilowatt of battery pack with four seats a heavy car this is a complete moving rocket which can just fly anytime a simple nudge on the accelerator and it can get your heart racing just like the way you play games now the battery pack is important because this can be charged up to 200 kilowatt. It's seldom you find one and once charged, it can give you a range of about 580 kilometers. The Acer Predator Helios can actually last you five and a half hours, which is not bad. So equal to amount of time where you can completely deplete the juice of this car. If you're driving on Sport Plus and completely having down while the back seat you're playing your favorite game completely out. It's very difficult to hold on to your horses when you're driving a car, a machine such as the AMG EQS 53. You, you begin to feel that any public road is your racetrack and you begin to drive like crazy, which can get very dangerous. So my advice is if you want to really practice and experience that do that with your gaming machine with the Predator Helios 300 for that matter you can get a steering wheel you can get the accelerator pedals you can get all the gears that you want and feel that you are driving on a racetrack and you'll be safe you won't harm anybody else 
That's the beauty of gaming. And if you lose control of this machine while on the road, then I'm sorry. Game over for you, my friend. The car's torque is checked 10,000 times per minute and adjusted whenever necessary. Features over 350 plus sensors like ultrasonic sensors, moisture sensors, and multiple cameras, and much more tech. Let me give you a glimpse of it. Let's step inside. Now let me introduce you to this giant and beautiful hyperscreen, 141 centimeter wide. It has got loads of information. In fact, everything that you want to know about this car is here. It's the soul of this car and it's beautiful. Three things are very important. First is that it has got massage functions. So you can, you and the co-passenger can actually indulge in a game and get the massage on and feel the vibration. You know what I mean? Second is that it has got track pace. This is an AMG after all. So while you are playing the real game on the road, which you should be cautious of, you can put that on and be a little naughty. Third, when you're done with everything, there are some inbuilt games inside. Not the best ones to the fastest ones. You have Sudoku, you have Tetris, and you can actually play that right from this screen. If you don't want to play on the back side of the car, which I'm going to do right now when I'm going to put it on charge, you can do that here. Isn't that cool? Yes. While the car is being juiced up, it's time to indulge in the luxury of the EQS. There's acres of legroom, headroom, everything is so spacious. And I exactly know what to do to kill your time in the backseat. Play games. In the Acer Predator Helios 300, it also has a turbo button. Yes, unlike this car. This doesn't need a turbo because this is an electric powerhouse. While this one has all the games that I can play right now. Games aside, it's time to conclude. Mercedes has really hit the ball and the bat out of the park with the EQS 53 AMG Formatix Plus. It's an EV, it's an AMG, it's a luxury, it's four-seater, and it's a silent thread, all rolled into one. It has shown us that a performance car can be fun. Every manufacturer is doing the bit to roll out their dice of performance cars. Why? Because we have to save this world. Because the game of polluting the world has taken a very, very serious turn. And if you don't change now, that turn will lead us into catastrophe. We will leave the future generations with nothing to breathe. We'll choke them to death. If you want to save that, if you want to leave this world rather sustainable and habitable, we have to stop playing that game of pollution. If you want to play those games, you please do that on a gaming machine, on a Predator Helios 300 for that matter. I'll see you in the next one. Do your bit. I'm doing mine. Bye-bye.